Hello everyone, I'm going to talk to you about chicken tractors today. I built four of them this year so far. Um, I have many more coming, but I decided to try initially the Joel Salatin style. Couldn't really find any good plans online, so I just looked at a lot of pictures and videos and tried to eyeball it. Um, didn't have a lot of success with, with those, so I decided to try the John Siskovich uh, chicken tractors from his book, Stress-Free Chicken Tractors. And um, I wanted to show you what I did and, and also go into uh, my thoughts on them. So I started with the Joel Salatin style uh, chicken tractors and I couldn't find exact specifications online. I just watched a lot of videos, looked at photos and, and I saw what other people were doing on YouTube and on the websites. Um, and so I came up with, with uh, something that's I think similar. Um, couple of problems. Number one, Joel Salton says he uses one by sixes and he cuts them uh, into three boards. So he basically gets one by twos. Um, well, he has a really nice saw and I, I, I have a, a small little table saw and I, 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 I'm just not comfortable with it enough to uh, take a one by six and cut it evenly and into thirds. So um, what I did was I, I got two by fours and I cut them in half. And so basically I have two by twos here for most of this. I have one by twos for a little bit. The other problem I had was um, where I live, I can't find any corrugated aluminum. I called roofers, I called contractors, I went to all the big box stores in the area and nobody had anything even similar. So I was stuck with either galvanized steel or white steel. And I went with white steel just because I think it would reflect uh, more, of the, more of the sun and retain less of the heat. So, um, because the steel is so much heavier, I had to use those two by twos. Um, and that, that's kind of the theory behind what I did. Uh, I ran into the problem that Joel Salton said everybody has. I made them too freaking heavy. Um, I'm a, I pretend to be a big, strong guy, and and you know I hook up a dolly to these things, and I and I move them, and and it's backbreaking every day. Um, so I. After I was going to build three of them because I had uh, 225 chickens I was going to bring out here. And um, I built two of them and I couldn't hardly move them out here. Um, so I decided I, I can't do this uh, with this specific design that, that I tried to replicate. I, did, I, I admittedly did a, a very, very poor job with it. Um, and so I decided I, I, I can't keep doing this. I, I can't build these, they're too heavy. I can't move them. Um, it's it's gonna be very too frustrating and difficult. So I decided to buy the John Siskovich book, um, Stress-Free Chicken Tractors. And uh, I've watched his videos on YouTube and um, I thought that this looked like a, a, a good model. Joel Salton said he recommends about 75 chickens per tractor. So I was gonna build three of them. Siskovich's models hold about 30. And so um, that's going to take obviously quite a bit more, um, but it takes a little bit less of a footprint. Um, it's just more more time building. But uh, I'll just show you these here. Um, I, I I don't know how to do woodworking. Um, I, I'm not terribly handy, but uh, his book is very helpful because it's step by step designs for the most part. Um, and I, I'm very happy with these. They move very easily. I don't even have wheels on the back of them. I just drag them through the field. And if the grass is short enough, there's no resistance. So um, keep the grass under four inches and you should be just fine. Um, I really like these. Now you'll see I, I have feeders on the ground. I have a one gallon water feeder in there right now. And that's just because of my supplies, what I, what I have right now. I need to go out and, and spend some more money. Um, I have some bell waterers, but I don't really have a shelf in here to hang uh, the buckets like I do. Uh, on, the, on the Joel Salton models. So, um, Siskovich does nipple waters. Um, I just haven't bought any of those yet. And then I have these, these feeders on the ground just because I didn't have the, uh, I was in a rush to get these done. So I didn't have the time to build the, uh, the hanging feeders. The problem was I had uh, about 115 chickens per tractor that I was trying to uh, get on a pasture because I was running out of time. And, uh, when I decided to change methods, I didn't have enough time to uh, to get uh, things built, so they were overpacked. So I just built two of these really quickly, and um, I'm I'm very happy with them. I'm going to actually build more this weekend, but uh, 
the chickens are a lot less stress in here. Um, they go through food, you know, significantly uh, slower, and I think it's because there's less competition. I currently have 85 chickens in each of these Salison tractors. And Joel says the range is between, uh, I think he said 65 and 90, with the ideal being 75. So I'm on the higher end here, but these chickens, they're, they're competing for everything. So um, I've had chickens I've had to take to the uh, take out of here and put in a little, little brooder area just because their heads or their wings get scratched and they start bleeding. It's because they're jumping on each other, uh, trying to get food because um, you know, they're nuts. They're hungry. You can keep them topped off and they still go crazy over the food. These guys are just a lot, a lot better behaved. I mean, they're, they're, they get a little bit frantic in the mornings when they come out. They want that food right away, but, but otherwise, <laughs> they're doing a great job of, of just kind of, uh, you know, not attacking each other. Um, you come out here midday, and they're just sitting down, hanging out. They're very, very content. Now, Joel Salatin will say this, and, and and I completely agree. Some of my problem is it's a management thing. I'm still getting used to uh, having chickens on pasture, and uh, so I, I I have some things to learn still and then to, to get better at. And and you know you don't see a lot of problems with Joel's uh, chickens and his chicken tractor, but uh, he's been doing it for a long time. He has a very very efficient method, um, and you know I'm just trying to mimic that in some way. So I have I have a lot to learn still, admittedly, but. Uh, for right now, based on the materials I have, the ability that I have, um, I'm gonna go with the Siskovich tractors for the near future. And part of the thing there too is I, I'm doing, you know, 200 to 250 chickens at a time. And I'll probably do four batches throughout the year. Um, so even though they, 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 you need more of these, they, they, they kind of take up more, uh, uh, more, more space and things like that. Um, I'm doing low volume. So I'll probably do like I said between 750 and 1,000 chickens on pasture right now. Um, these are much more ideal because you put 75 chickens in at a time, um, and you're able to uh, just kind of maximize your, your you know your your, your scale. I'm sorry, you can scale up or down as you need to. These are going to be kind of limited to a smaller scale, um, you know, 1,000, 1,500. Uh, 2,000 birds a year, um, depending on how much land you have and how much effort you want to put into building these tractors. But uh, as far as what I'm doing right here, um, my limited resources, my limited knowledge, and um, actually, you know, everything that I'm everything I'm trying to do with the farm here, I, I really like these Siskovich ones. I will add um, waters and I'm sorry, hang waters and hanging feeders here very soon but i wanted to give you an idea of what i'm doing i hope this makes sense um and i hope you don't feel like i'm i'm saying anything negative about joel salat and i we we, we want to mimic everything that guy does he's amazing um it's just my skills and my ability aren't, aren't there just yet and uh so these have been more more stressful than they have been uh helpful so as i as i continue to, to learn and improve i'm going to uh um try and incorporate more and more of what Joel does and, and, and scale the way he scales. But uh, for the time being, um, this is where I'm at. Um, hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Um, send me messages, uh, ask questions, anything they can do to help out. Um, I'll point you in the right direction if, if I don't know. Um, so anyways, all right, take care.